Hi, my name is Nate Williams. I'm the owner of Adrenaline Rush Noodling Guide Service, and today we're going to talk about how to properly stringer a large catfish. If you get the art of hand fishing down, you may need to stringer one someday. So I have today this uh, typical stringer. You can get this from Walmart or almost any store. Any kind of rope will really do, but the typical stringer has this one metal spike here, and the idea there is to poke it through the fish's lip. You can do that. I don't really like poking holes in my fish's lip unless absolutely necessary. It's just as effective to go through the large fish's gills if you do it right. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, also, on these stringers, what they typically have is this little metal ring right here, okay? This metal ring isn't really that good. It's not worth the uh, crap, really, because when the fish starts pulling on it, it's just a little cheap pressed metal and it comes straight apart. The catfish pulling on that rope is a lot stronger than me, and you can see that I've already destroyed that little metal ring and off goes your fish. The catch of a lifetime is gone. So before that ever happens to you, hopefully you'll watch this and you'll know how to really do it. So what you need to do is get towards the end of your rope. This one used to have a metal ring before somehow that's not a ring anymore. You just double your string like that. Okay, now that you got double string, just pretend it's one string, very simple. You just make a loop like the first knot of a shoestring, but you do it, make sure you have both strings in there the whole time. Go through there and pull it back through. Just like that. And you got yourself a little loop that'll never go anywhere. Fish will not get off. It'll save you a lot of heartache there. All right. So now I'm gonna grab our assistant. Got us about a 60 pound catfish over here that uh, is ready to help us out. All right, so here's our big flathead. He's about 60 pounds. The best way to go about doing this, when you go and get your rope, when you got your fish secured and you get him in a position where you can work with him, the best way to do this is usually, the way I like to do it is to get this outer gill plate right here and open it up nice and wide, okay? You never want to go through any of these red gills because once he pulls, he's going to break his own gill and it'll kill him. There's plenty of space. and these big catfish, your arm can go all the way through. They can come all the way out up here, and you can see your own hand, okay? So he has lots of room to work if you go through that gill. Never have to poke a hole in his lip. You take this part, and you stick it through right here. Or if you don't even have to have the metal spike, it could just be the rope. Pass it through this outer gill, right against the skin. Give it to your other hand, pull it out of his mouth, find your metal, not your metal, your stringer right there, and put it through. He ain't gonna go anywhere. And if the rule is you make sure you wrap this about five times before you do anything, because they'll jerk it right out of your hand with one or two wraps. And if you're gonna tie it off, you need to do good too. Now the other thing is after you get him stringered, see I didn't mess with this yet. When we start pulling, this is gonna pull on his gill right here. It's putting too much pressure and it's pulling out his gill. Ooh, he doesn't like it and it's probably up painful on him. So what you wanna do is slide it right up in here so you don't damage your fish and it's not gonna cause him stress. Noose it down right there and now he's good to go, okay? Now you have more than one option when you're um, stringering a fish. I'll show you the other way. Okay, we'll take him off the stringer here. Hope he doesn't swim off in the lake, he's a little wild. Um, you can always grab them if situation calls for it. This is your other option. Take it right here, put it in the soft part of their lip down here. You don't want to get down this low because that's their tongue. It's really thick and it, it takes a lot of strength. These big ones, it's hard to get these little metal things pushed through, but you can take it, poke it right through right there. Maybe, he's a pretty tough, thick skin sucker. See, so poke it right through there, and then you just pull it, same thing. You got it around his jawbone, he really ain't going anywhere, but he will waller a big hole in his lip pulling on himself, and he'll end up with the hole about this big. But you can still get him that way. So, if you don't want to lose the catch of a lifetime, you want to get him home and get some pictures of him, or put him in the freezer and you don't want to have his fish story about how you almost caught him or how you caught him but he got away, uh, make sure you um, utilize this thing right here. And if you're planning on catching and releasing, do not get him inside the red gills. Get him on that outer gill plate. Thanks.